PLD and CXD amplifiers are supplemented by a software application called Amplifier Navigator. It's available for free at qsc.com. Simply scroll over products and click on software and applications, and then click on the Amplifier Navigator button. You'll see that it's available for Mac or Windows, so just download the one that's appropriate for your computer, install it, and then launch the application. In the top bar, you'll see two functions, the Preset Manager and the Update Manager. If you have an active internet connection, the Navigator will search for available software and firmware updates when you first boot up. Or you can check for updates manually by pressing this button. If the program has been running for more than 24 hours, it will automatically search again. If there's a software update available, the Update button will be active. And if it's not, it'll be grayed out like this. To connect to an amplifier, simply plug one end of the USB cable into the back of the amplifier and the other one into your computer. You'll see your amplifier's name populate in the left-hand column. We have a CXD and a PLD hooked up. If there's a firmware update to this amplifier, a small icon will indicate that it needs your attention. And the Update Amplifier button will be active. Simply click on the button and the new firmware will be installed on your amplifier. Repeat as necessary for all the PLD and CXD amplifiers. This process takes between two to three minutes for each amplifier. Once the firmware update is complete, click on Complete. The Preset Manager lets you copy the preset configuration library from one amplifier to your computer and then copy those presets into another amplifier. And this function will only work if the amplifiers have already been updated with the same firmware as the software version you're using. Simply select an amplifier that you'd like to copy using the drop-down box, and then click Copy Library to Computer. Give it a name, and click Save. Now, if you'd like to load a library to an amplifier, select the library file, and the amplifier that you'd like to copy it to, and select Overwrite Amplifier Library. Now note that this copies the entirety of the library and overwrites all existing library data on the given amplifier. This process takes between one to two minutes. When you're done, click Complete. And if you need a reminder on any of this information, just click on the question mark button to access the help file. And that's about all there is for the Amplifier Navigator. Thanks for watching.